fucking die, mate. Oh, I just got one on the edge. <laughs> die, you fuckers. If you're looking for cheap games, head over to the Green Man Gaming site and use this code. Links in the description. Hi there, I'm Ben Grills. You may remember me from the hit program Desert Island, where I only did one episode because I got scared and didn't want to go back. I'm bringing you a new show. Ten times the action. Ten times the fear. Welcome to Ben Grills, Born to Die in the Forest. Pirates of the Seven Seas, welcome back to another Loki Games video. We're back with more Ben Grills trying to survive in the forest again. As you can see, I'm standing on a, um, a new platform today. People that didn't um, come to the live stream when I did a live stream of this last week um, won't know what the fuck this is. It's uh, I thought I'd put another platform here because, well, we've got the big gate here that leads into the boneyard, aka the killing field. And I was saying to the people on the stream that um, this is, I find it very scary going out here. I find it very scary, especially at night time and I, I was gonna put a tower up just because well we've got defenses up here we've got Gloria and Gloria version 2 to defend us if anyone breaches the wall but we haven't got anything to defend us from the killing fields I might have to chop that tree down because I can't see shit but I was thinking about putting uh, Gloria 3.0 <laughs> Over here, just so if anyone comes into the um the boneyard here, we can easily just like catapult shit into them. Because mutants, it's very easy for the mutant bastards to take these walls down. And if I see a mutant here and he sees me, he's gonna take this wall down, and I can't be asked to build it all over again. So yeah, in this episode, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put up Gloria 3.0 here, uh, chop that fucking tree down because that's in the way. Uh, we're gonna test out the trap run a little bit more as well. Try and get a load of freaks to run through it because I think that will look pretty hilarious to see those retards getting caught up in all those traps. And we're also going to test out Gloria 3.0 as well. We'll try and get some mutants to come around here so we can just have a little bit of fun. You can see over there from the live stream, I've basically cut down their entire forest to make this. <laughs> so if they're pissed off at me in this one, you know why. Yeah, but yeah, first things first is I'll just set up Gloria 3.0. We'll have to figure out how this is going to go. It's the wrong way round to start with. But are you right about there? Oh, lovely. Uh... Ah, yeah, we're gonna need this to come back a little bit more, I think. But that seems pretty cool. We've got a pretty good arc of fear, arc of defense from this position here. We can probably get them if they're right over there behind the bone fence too, which is cool. Right, so first we have to cut this tree down, I think. We can get logs for Gloria 3.0 from this tree that we need to chop down. You know, kill two birds with one stone. Come on, you can't. Ah, oh, that's that's a lot better already. Look at that. Oh, if it wasn't for those stupid sticks in the way, then we'd be able to see everything. Uh, do we only get three logs? Hey, how do you get right over there, mate? Devs, if you're watching this, can you take all these fucking sticks away? <laughs> just go into my server and just, you know, take them away. I don't want them. Okay, welcome back, guys. I've um extended this platform here a little bit just so we can lean back, you know, act like a complete asshole on it. <laughs> oh, and here we go. Here's some freaks. Look, just when you... Uh, how did you get in, mate? How did you get in here? Yeah, so as I was saying, <laughs> I've um put a rock holder here as well, just, you know, for extra ammo, because if quite a lot of the freaks come through the tree line, you know, we're going to need some ammo. And also, if we run out of rocks here... What the fuck? How are you all getting through? Oh, hey. There's no way for you guys to get in. How have you got in? And yeah, if we run out of rocks here, we've got a um, a little explosives rack that I've set up here. So there we go. And then that can be the backup, just in case we run out of rocks, you know, because we don't want to get fucked up. Oh, 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 here comes some. Here comes some freaks. Let's put a few stones in this. Quick, they're coming. They're, um, oh, they're coming around the side. They're flanking. Well, let's go down and teach these bastards a lesson, shall we? Guys, listen. I'm going to have to enforce some rules here. Matrix! Do it again? Do it again? Now you're poisoned, mate. Come on, geezers. Oh, you're dead. You're dead. You're dead. I've just poisoned you, mate. Oh, what the fuck? I poisoned you, mate. I don't think the poison works anymore, guys. Oh, I'm going to have to tell them what's what. Okay, so what I'm going to do here, guys, is I'm going to try and entice some mutants in so we can test out Gloria 3.0 just to make sure she's nice and effective for these back lines here. They're normally attracted to light, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to fashion a nice bonfire and burn some of their friends on it. That should entice them in. When they come to look at the bonfire and start crying, you know, mourning over their family members, then I'll shoot some rocks at their face. <laughs> so by the time I finish doing the bonfire, it should be night time. So I'll see you this evening, guys. 
Doopy doopy doo. Welcome back, guys. It's um, it's the evening time. Just about to throw all these freaks on the fire. Oh, it doesn't matter. If you catch fire to yourself, that just illuminates the fields more. It will attract more mutants. Don't worry about it. Also, I'm Ben Grill, so you can't really catch me on fire. I'm immune to absolutely everything in this world. I know it sounds a bit big-headed to say it, but I am badass. Oh, look at that. Look at that bonfire. Now, that bonfire up there. They come up here. This can be seen for miles. Since when did I put two traps there? Okay. Oh. Oh no, it's attracted more of the freaks. Get on my bonfire. Oh look, you think you're hard? The gate's open, mate. You ain't that hard. You didn't it's not like you broke in, geezer. The gate was open. Fuck off. What's all this? Mate, you're going on my bonfire. You're making me hack up everything. There's too much stuff in here now. <laughs> Lovely. So yeah, burning the freaks. Brilliant way to attract the mutants. I see something in the tree line. Here they come. It's just attracting more cannibals. <laughs> I think they're getting a bit angry, the fact that I'm burning their family. Right, so I've got I've got two rocks in there. Two rocks would be enough to, to take down the hardest of foes. How the hell are you getting in? <laughs> Oi! How the fuck are you getting in, love? I said, motherfuckers! Ay -ah! Get out of my way, you hag! Oh, ah! Right, we trapped one. Where is she? Where's this bitch? Go over there. I wish we had some sort of bait spray that we could spray down. When they go near it, we can sort of, like, have them. But at the moment, there's no such thing. So we're just sat here like fucking idiots. I'm gonna put an arm in this one. <laughs> Shoot an arm and two rocks. Shut up, bitch. Right, we know for a fact that this bonfire is attracting freaks, but unfortunately it's the wrong kind. See, the, the scent that the grey aliens' bodies give off once they've been deceased for a while, it smells a bit like cat's piss. They're very much attracted to cat's piss, the scent of it. I'm not sure why. I've been doing some research lately, but I can't seem to find out why they like the smell of feline piss so much, but... Oh. Oh, I see one. See one in the darkness. He has a torch with him. It's a teenager. I think he's going to beach fest. He's going around the side. This would be a very good fortress if we had enough people on it, you know? <laughs> it's just me at the moment, so, so, you know, I have to kind of defend all sides. I think we should be alright till morning. See, this place is lit up like fuck now, so... <laughs> It's not like they can miss us. Let's take a trip down memory lane before we go to bed, shall we? Should we go up and see? Because quite a few people said they missed the treehouse. So we could spend a night in it, actually. Should we spend a night in the treehouse? You know, for old times sake. Now, during the live stream, I cut down this tree. <laughs> Yet the treehouse remains. Ah, oh, this brings back memories, guys. Doesn't this just... For nostalgia purposes, we'll spend the night in here, I think. I'll see you in the morning, guys. Uh, morning, guys. It's the best night's sleep I've had in quite a while. I think it's because it's the old tree. You know, this was our first home. It's, um, it brings back a lot of... Memories, there's a bird sticking through the wall. I'm just sat here, reminiscing. I have a bit of... Ow, fuck me! Ah, Jesus! I'm on fire! <laughs> I'm gonna burn down the whole place. As I was saying, I was uh, sitting here... Just reminiscing while I was waiting for this generic rabbit meat to cook. Ah, oh, there we go. Have some breakfast. Didn't even fill me up much. Hurt me by the looks of it. Oh, I brought back so many memories, guys. Lighting a fire up in this, this wooden house. <laughs> Beautiful. Anyway, today we're just going to go on a mutant hunt. Try and lead them back to our, our cabin and attack them with the glorious. Should be a wonderful day. So I'll come back to you guys once I have some freaks for you. Okay, at the moment, guys, I'm trying to chop down their entire forest to try and bait them in. They seem to be attracted to, um, like I said, feline urine and the sound of logs being dropped on the ground. So I'm just chopping down basically their entire forest. Hopefully that will bait them in. We'll see. <laughs> There's plenty of logs down there. Okay, we have one out front at the moment. Oh, no, he seems to be coming around the side. Fucking asshole. Where'd he go? There he is. Quick, go for... Shit, which one was this called? Oh no, he's t setting off all the traps, the damn retard. Where is he? Oh, there's one. Attack! Get him! Get away from my base. Don't you know how much shit I have here? Ali oop! Oh, he dodged it! Sick dodge blood. I'm running out of stones here. I can't seem to hit any- What's this geezer doing? Uh, he's way off of where he should be. <laughs> What's that bloke doing? That's the only thing with these catapults, is you- you seem to, um, you don't seem to have a chance to actually fucking hit anyone with them. Let's try and entice him out with, um, a flare. Go catch the flare, mate. Go get the flare. Where is he, the damn fool? I saw you walking around, geezer. There is this one, fucker. He's hiding in the bushes. Fuck, there's a branch in the way, I can't see him. Fuck it. I'll just shoot and hope that isn't one. That's an effigy. <laughs> oh, you damn idiot, I just wasted all my stones. Oh, I need to go up front and get rid of this. This is right in my catapult's way. There we go. You geezer, defying the laws of physics. Jesus! Oh no, I've just set them all off. <laughs> go, 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 go. Where'd he go? Is one coming in? There's one coming in. Fucking die, mate. I missed him. Oh, he's too far to the left. A son of a bitch. 
Come into my line of sight, fucker. Hiya! I'm not hitting them. Fucking die, mate. Oh, I just got one on the head. <laughs> die, you fuckers. I just knocked your mate out. Fucking die. Take that. You're not gonna get us. Leave PT out of this. <laughs> yes. Oh, I got him. I got him quick. Go in for the kill. Go in for the kill. Oh, you got fucked up, mate. Ah, decapitate you. I think all the ones we kill with the Gloria will just make a very custom effigy in the middle just to show them how many people we've killed, you know? Uh, look at all the rocks all over the place. <laughs> There's so many rocks. Oh, I'm glad we've finally seen it in action, like proper action, guys. That was amazing. Let's just put some stones down here. Reload this poppy. This works pretty well. As long as you get the, um, the icon right over them and they're not going to move for a second or two, you can knock the bastard. Out. All right, let's make a custom effigy right about here. This is going to be our trophy, guys. Sticking out of this stone here. I think with these, can't you just put on, like, anything you want? Actually, we could make a trap here. Should we try and entice one out? We'll make our own sort of, like... It'll be like a scarecrow, but it won't be to scare them away. It'll be to attract them. What I'm going to do here is make a very sexy-looking mate. So if they're in the tree line, they sort of look out and they're like... Ooh, hello, who's this? Come out to investigate, try and chatter up, and that's when I'll, um, I'll strike with the catapult. Yeah, you watch, you watch what's gonna happen to your foes. Let's inject this freak full of poison. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Poison? I don't think the poison darts work anymore, to be quite fair. Right, let's get ourselves an arm. Choppy, choppy, we're making a mannequin today. Ha-ha! <laughs> let's make a lovely... Lovely little mate. Something they can't resist, you know? It's got, <laughs> it's got two right hands, <laughs> but that's fine. Completely fine. That's not out of the ordinary whatsoever. I chop off some legs here. Ah, yes! Ah, another leg! Another leg! Oh, here we go. Oh, uh, hi. Oh no, she's gonna tell him. She's gonna grasp me up. She's gonna grasp up my plan if I don't get her. You, you ain't fucking telling anyone, love. What's going on here? Snitches get stitches! Anyway, back to the task at hand. Alright, let's put a little... Can we not put a little leg on? Yeah, we got to put a little leg on somewhere. Uh, should we have her presenting? Oh, it's a bloke's head, though. <laughs> They'll have to be gay. Or we could entice the females. We have the legs open like that, as if to say, come see what I got for you between these thighs, you know? Oh, that looks beautiful. Birds, get off. We'll just put a small skull lamp next to it, just to illuminate, so they can see it from the trees, you know, because they've, they've got pretty good night vision, but it'd also be a lot better if they can sort of see the ass. I mean, look at that. Oh, look at that sweet ass. Right, let's get rid of these because they're going to catch on. <laughs> There's corpses lying all over the place, you know? There's the lovely lady. Now, they're not going to be able to resist that. Whether they're gay cannibals or they're female cannibals, they're going to see that now. And just see the legs spread out like that. Just as an invitation for them to come in and have their wicked way with them. Beautiful. I love nature. And then, as soon as they come up, start chatting that thing up. We can go up here and just start catapulting rocks into their face. <laughs> Lovely. Uh, see what I mean? See what I mean, guys? Look. Look how the traps move. We just caught that one in the act. This trap has just moved. <laughs> okay. Oh, hey. Hey. Mate. Fuck off. They really, really need to fix those new strams. <laughs> anyway, guys, it's been a very productive day. Hopefully you enjoyed. Make sure to follow me on all these stalk sites on the side if you haven't yet. And make sure to like and share this video if you give an easy teachy weighty little bit of shit about catapulting rocks into oblivious cannibals. <laughs> Just going for a daily stroll. Peace out. <laughs>